So the question is, can you grow blackberries in containers? Well, what do you think? I think you can. Let's take a closer look. So these are all Prime Arc Freedom blackberries. They were, uh, I got them at Bob Wells Nursery in Lindale, Texas. And uh, I have a link below to Bob Wells Nursery. I highly recommend them. As you can see, I have gotten some amazing plants from them. All the growth you're looking at, every bit of it, 100% of the growth you're looking at is this year's growth. When I put them in the ground, they were some of them 12 inches tall, 18 inches tall, but all those canes have since produced berries and died out. So everything you're looking at now were canes that came up this year. They're six feet tall. They're, and I've already pruned them. I pruned them at four feet. And then some of them have, have where I pruned them, have done the old Y and have grown another foot and a half or two feet. So they're well above my head. Even though I pruned them at four feet, uh, they're well above my head right now. Again, Primark Freedoms, which is a prima cane, which means they produce on this year's cane and next year's cane. This, the, the cane that comes up the first year, the very first year, is called a prima cane, an initial, the initial cane, the prima cane. Next year, that same cane will be called a floor cane. Well, up until just a few years ago, all blackberries were floor canes. Everything produced on last year's canes. Well, University, I believe, of Arkansas developed what's called a primacane, which, which um, will produce berries the first year and again the spring of the next year. I want you to look at all the berries. This is the middle of June. All the berries I've got on these primacane blackberries. These will probably be ready around the 4th of July, thereabouts. When all the rest of everybody else's blackberries are done, these blackberries are just now starting to put out. Now, my experience with primacanes is that they will produce a much, much larger crop uh, next spring. These canes that just came up this year, the primacane, will produce a, a few berries this year, uh, quite a few from the looks of it, but next year, next year, next spring, they will really produce a huge crop of berries. And again, there's, there's that cluster. There's that cluster right there. I mean, just, I've got berries everywhere. From first year planting. So what kind of containers am I using? These are syrup tubs, what we call them. Uh, protein tubs, uh, cow people, uh, people that raise cows, which I do, uh, use these. Um, in the wintertime to feed their cows. They're filled with a, a molasses type protein and the cows need that as some extra protein in the wintertime to supplement their hay, uh, their hay intake, their protein intake. So these uh, are about 20 gallons, 18 to 20 gallons a piece. I made these into um, self-wicking tubs and I've got some videos on how to make those. I've even got some videos that I did. Uh, I came up with a uh, what I call a hybrid uh, self-wicking tub, and I like it better. But anyway, it's you can make these. These aren't just filled with um, with dirt and have dr holes drilled in the bottom. It's got pipes in the bottom of it, and there's there's a reason for that. So look before you before you go out and get you some tubs and drill a bunch of holes in the bottom of them. Look at the self-wicking tubs first. That's what these are, and I think that's one reason they have done so well. So check that out first. Uh, I'll put a link to that up here in the corner, and I'll put a link at the end of the video to the to the hybrid tubs as well as just the uh, the regular self-wicking tubs. But these can be found uh, from most cattlemen, and uh, feed stores might have some empties. Uh, People that raise cows have a bunch of empties at the end of the winter, uh, I would think. 
Uh, and down here on the end, I have one that is not a Primark Freedom. It is a Wachita. And um, it is in an earth box. So a little bit different. It's growing like crazy. That earth box is producing a nice berry plant, but it's just a little bit different from the Primark Freedoms. Uh, and I've still got some berries down there of the Wachita from uh, last year's canes. These, all the new growth, all the big growth is this year's canes. So what did I use for a growing medium? I used a, just a, a good potting mix, uh, which has got a lot of peat in it, uh, some compost in it, and some probably some bark in it. Um, and uh, used those, made my hybrid tubs or my wicking tubs, and then used the, uh, put, filled them up with uh, the uh, potting mix, planted them. I've got a video on that. I've got an entire playlist now on blackberries in containers and I'm telling you that is a hedge of blackberries and they're not even close to being through growing for the year. Like I say this is just middle of June. They're gonna still continue to grow for another month or so and uh, I'm just I'm amazed. I'm really truly amazed at how well these berries have done especially that they're putting out so many berries this first year. This cane, this primacane, is putting out more berries the first year than most people get from their berries on the second year cane, which is the, the largest crop, the biggest crop. So I'm excited about these. Can you grow blackberries in containers? Well, again, those are doing so well, and I think this is proof that you can because I'm doing it, and I'm doing it real well and it's easy let me show you how to weed i had so much trouble trying to keep the weeds and the grass out of my blackberries when they were in the when they were in the ground i had about a quarter of an acre of blackberries had a little blackberry you pick operation and um, and trying to keep the grass from coming in because i've mulched the blackberries real heavily with wood chips and trying to keep the grass from coming in was just really a pain because that mulch uh, made the earth so rich that that grass really wanted to to climb toward it. So, but here's how you here's how you weed them now. That's how you weed the blackberries now. Occasionally, they will get a little piece of grass or weed in them. A bird to come along and take a poop, and bring some seeds, and you'll have to do that from time to time. But it's that easy. It's that easy. So if you're thinking about doing blackberries in containers, uh, again, these are about 20 gallons, 18 to 20. I've never measured them, but it's around 18 to 20 gallons. You can do the, the math. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give the measurements of the containers, and then you can do the math as to how many gallons it holds uh, of soil. Now, the first four inches is pipe, is corrugated, uh, drain pipe so only the top uh, 20 inches or so 18 inches 18 20 inches is actually where the soil is the rest of it there's a water reservoir on the bottom of it again I think that's why they're doing so well is because they're in the wicking tubs and not in just uh, you know just take a tub fill it up with dirt and drill holes in the bottom of it and let it drain out that's I just don't think that's gonna be gonna do as well I don't think so but look at that. This is, again, first year canes. Those just came up, and look, just covered with blackberries. I will have a lot of Prime Arc Freedom blackberries in a couple of weeks. That is just clustered up there. And all these, again, will continue growing, will continue sending out their laterals, and that's where you get most of your berries next year is on your laterals. So. Uh, that's what you want. You want to prune it off at the top and get those laterals. I've done a lot of videos on pruning, a lot of videos on building those tubs and uh, the two different types of tubs, the uh, regular um, self-wicking tub, and that is a hybrid tub with a little spout sticking out at the bottom. Those are my hybrid tubs, and they are, uh, I, I like, uh, to me they're easier to build, so I like them a little better. And uh, I've got 18 of these plus the one earth box on the end, and 
I've just uh, I couldn't I couldn't be more pleased. I couldn't be more excited about how these blackberries look. I was wondering if I, if I planted enough. If 18 was going to be enough. <laughs> yeah, I think it will. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be giving away blackberries probably. So you could uh, you could definitely do just one or two of these and produce a, uh, a pretty good amount of blackberries uh, in just one tub, I think. So, uh, again, look at that cluster. And this is, this is the middle of June. This is supposed to be, blackberries are supposed to be in starting at, uh, oh, starting green like that in May and then produce in June and die out in June in July. Well, all the all the ones that came up from the first year canes have already died out. I can show you um, some of the old canes. There's some right there. I don't know whether you can see that or not. That's that's an old cane that I need to I need to prune out of there. And I'm gonna do another do a pruning video pretty soon. Show you how to do that. When I got the plant, it was in the you know the one gallon plant. It had some cane sticking up. Uh, because they weren't bare root and I highly recommend you get one gallon plants if you can uh, If you can afford to get one gallon plants, uh, I just think they do so much better than bare root You're gonna get berries the first year probably whatever when you buy it Whatever is sticking up out of the ground it will produce berries that we, that year as a general rule So let me take you around the other side real quick And I've also got a trellis. These are all within this trellis I've got a video on how to build that trellis. Trellis wires are going this way. Keep the plants from falling over. Check out my trellis video. But look at that. I mean, that is just, they're way above my head. It's eight feet tall. You know, they're in a, a two foot bucket, but they're eight feet tall. Six feet sticking up out of the bucket at least on some of these. Uh, I've got them banded to this wire so they won't fall over and I'm telling you blackberries in containers is the way to go blackberries in containers get you some grow you some do it I think you will like it look at that beautiful a lot of what I'm doing this year is in containers whether it be uh, tomatoes and peppers and a little bit of everything but what is doing the best for me in containers is blackberries and I'll give you a sneak peek at another video coming up can you grow fruit trees in containers that's a sneak peek for another video all right I think I've said all I need to say and I'll have to show you these keep watching because I'll show you these when they start coming off when they start maturing and, and ripening and I start picking them uh, I'm, I'm just looking forward to that. Hope you are too. And if you are subscribed and if you have rung the bell and said that you want to receive the notifications, then you will be notified when I put up that new video about the uh, well, anything I put up, dadgummit. I, well, not just blackberries, it's a little bit of everything. Sometimes fruit trees too. All right. That's it. We're gone. Blackberries in containers. Do it. I highly recommend it. We're gone.